Good morning, everyone. So today is Sunday morning, and I uh, just wanted to share with you a little bit of our day and what we do today. Um, so I'm starting off by making this ube mochi pancake and waffle mix, and I think um, somebody gave it. I think my mom actually gave this to me on a trip um, that she went on a couple months ago. So I heard this was really good, and I was was excited to try it. Um, if you don't know what ube is, it's it is. Ube is the name of purple yams that are known in the Philippines. So it's a very popular flavor and nowadays you can see it in um, you can see it like in shave ice, in other snacks. There's a lot of ube flavored milk tea, all kinds of stuff. So we're just gonna make this. And this recipe um, is for it can make up to 12 four inch pancakes. You can also make this into waffles as it says in the box. Um, and we're gonna use Water, eggs, three fourths cup of water, three eggs, and three tablespoons of butter. Here are my ingredients. This is the box. And we're gonna use some butter, three eggs, and just three fourths cups of water. Then I'm also gonna make this. We don't have like breakfast sausages. We're gonna make this organic feta and spinach chicken sausage. Uh, which we've actually never made before. So we're gonna try it for the first time. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our pancake mix. I'm making the whole box because I don't think that I will make this again. Like I probably will forget about it. So um, we can just have leftovers or maybe I can freeze them after. Water. Ooh, and it's turning purple. Eggs. Three tablespoons of butter. Okay, and then I mix it all together. Lightly oil the griddle or skillet. Use approximately a half cup of batter for each four inch pancake. Cook about two minutes or until the bubbles start forming. Flip, flip and cook an additional two minutes or until golden brown. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the pan on to like a medium to non-stick pan. Kind of starting to bubble. I see some bubbles. So I'll give it about a minute and then I'll flip it. Woohoo! First try. So something I forgot to mention is that in Hawaii we don't have Trader Joe's so anytime somebody brings us back or anytime people go to the mainland uh, a lot of times people will bring us gifts from Trader Joe's. I think that's um, and before it used to be like Bed Bath & Beyond when we didn't have Bed Bath & Beyond in Hawaii um, but yeah so it's always a treat when we get a Trader Joe's product because everybody in Hawaii loves Trader Joe's but we only get it when we go to the mainland right now. So let me know like what you guys like to eat or like from Trader Joe's, like what is your favorite thing that they sell. The cool thing, the thing that I like about Trader Joe's is any anytime we go, um, we always go in the, in the different seasons and they always have seasonal foods and seasonal chips and seasonal products. Um, I really used to like getting these churro chips or these churro snack bites that they would have. Those are really good, so. Yeah, that's a little bit spiel on why we people in Hawaii are so excited about Trader Joe's. And I don't even know if one day we'll ever get one. I don't think so, but you know, we can only hope. 
Okay, so I'm on my last pancake. As you can see here, we're just finishing up. I'm gonna flip this one, and this one's a little bit smaller because this was the excess. And it said it could make 12, but I think I made them too big because it made more like eight, and they look like that size, this size. Okay, so breakfast is ready and plated. It looks like this. I have my pancakes, I have a little bit of egg and sausage and some apple on the side just for us to get a little bit of vitamin C in our breakfast. I'm gonna try the pancake for the first time without any syrup or anything. I'm just gonna bite into it. It does have more of like a chewy texture, like mochi. Mm -hmm. And I can taste the sweet potato and it's very, yeah, it's really nice and sweet. It's good. I really like this, um, this mix. It's, it's unique. And yeah, I would get it again when I go to Trader Joe's. So, highly recommend it. And just keep watching because you can spend the rest of the day with us, but. Yeah, it's very good. Mm. I don't even need syrup with it, actually. But it kind of looks like mochi. Like it, it's, you know, the texture is, is better. I mean, it's, the texture is more sticky. Mmm. Mm, good. All right, so we are done cleaning up in, in our house. $10 a person to get in and it comes with a lemonade it does I think yeah right it comes with a lemonade at the end oh. and then it comes with a, like a photo or a scenic area to take pictures Instagram worthy um, shots is what it said and then you can come and choose your pumpkin so I think I think this is probably gonna be here till end of October, I'm assuming, or probably when they run out of pumpkins. But this is kind of what it looks like and the experience that you can have when you come.
color? It's orange. It's yellow. How many pumpkins are there here? There's two. We're seeing daffodils, oh no, sunflowers and animals. Daffodils? Sunflowers and animals. But we, we don't need to see sunflowers, so I the last time. Okay, now we are seeing the farm animals that they have. I hear them already. And I'm out walking on the hay. Okay, What color is the piggy? White. White and? Black. Black. How many piggies? One, two, three, four. sale they said they have like a country boil they have some corn did I miss anything is that it and then the lemonade or you could get a sweet tea but um, yeah we're gonna do that now and they make really good lemonade so it's um, they I think they sell this lemonade at the farmers markets like around on Oahu um, so yeah it's delish what did you think of the farm it's it's good it's good it's very hot yeah it, it is a little hot but you know, Aiko really enjoyed herself. The kids enjoy themselves, so it's worth it to come as a family for sure. We got our we got our lemonade. So I got the Lihi Moi and we got the original. How does your taste? It tastes great. Refreshing. Refreshing, nice and refreshing. And I got this in the last time too, and this one is delicious. Mmm, really good. Fun day at the farm.